Oh man, oh man. Uh, welcome to Call... Uh, I was going to say Call of Duty Mobile, what the hell? Uh, Bouncy Jelly Gaming. Uh, PJT for short. And yes, man. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I think uh, I'm overreacting, to be honest. I don't know. But uh, yeah, welcome to Bouncy Jelly, Bouncy Jelly Gaming, PJG for short. And yes, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Woo! But uh, welcome to some Black Ops 3 Zombies. Playing some more Black Ops 3 Zombies. Black Ops 3 Zombies gameplay in the background. And uh, yeah, I'm playing a Revelations. This is pretty much the last, you know, my part two of Revelations gameplay. I'm using the Apotheca, the Thunder Gun, you know, Little Arnie's, and some other stuff, you know. Pretty much everything in your and in, in, in my arsenal that I can have. But uh yeah. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the gameplay. Uh just playing Revelations. I'm, I'm playing on the Kino uh location of Revelations. And uh this is, yeah man, as you can see I'm having a good time playing this game, you know, Black Ops 3 Zombies. It's a wonderful game. Black Ops 3 is a wonderful game. It's probably the last good ass Call of Duty game we will ever have. Because, you know, every Call of Duty after Black Ops 3 is when it just went downhill. Call of Duty War 2? Well, let's, let's see. Infinite War War 2? Black Ops 4? Modern Warfare 2018? And then Black Ops Cold War. You know? Every Call of Duty has been going... It's been getting shittier and shittier. It's been getting... It's more garbage and garbage as years goes on. More boring and more boring and more boringness, you know, and it's crazy stuff, man. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what should we talk about today, though? Uh, what should we talk about? Uh, yeah, it's Friday, I guess. That's cool, I guess. But uh, what should we talk about? Uh, let's talk about uh, the future of Call of Duty. What what I want to see, uh, you know, when it comes to the era of Call of Duty, you know, like futuristic, modern, you know. Past, you know, uh, OG, you know, Call of Duty, you know, what would I want to see for for the future of Call of Duty? And honestly, I'm gonna say this, man. I want futuristic Call of Duty games to come back. That's what I want. <laughs> Maybe I'm being, uh, you know, a little bit biased about, about this, but I want. I think a futuristic Call of Duty will be pretty great, especially nowadays that video uh, games are pretty, uh, pretty futuristic ish. Ish, you know, is they're actually pretty. Uh, what's it called? They're very. Uh, they're very bright, you know. They're very colorful. And then you go and play Modern Warfare 2019 or even Cold War. Uh, you can see that those games are very boring. They're very bland. And I'm gonna uh, like, even though I hate Fortnite, I think Fortnite is probably one of the games that I hate the most. But at least he has pretty good colors, man. I think the color, even though the colors are so freaking. I think I think the colors are way too much in Fortnite, man. Like my eyes really hurt when I play for like if I play Fortnite. But uh, like I like Call of Duty games that are very vibrant and and beautiful, you know. Like Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three is probably one of the it's probably one of the last, if not the last, beautiful you know bright Call of Duty game we will ever have. Because if you guys go up, you know Black Ops Three, you, you go to Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare is pretty pretty dark ish. You know, it has a very you know great tone to it. And then World War II, well, you know, it's pretty grayish also, in my opinion. I don't know if it's just me. I think Black Ops 4 is also, it's actually pretty bright and uh, and vibrant. But uh, Black Ops, I mean, Black Ops, Black Ops, Black Ops 4, I mean. Uh, it's probably, like, the last beautiful, you know, not beautiful, but, like, the last colorful Call of Duty we will ever have. Because after Black Ops 4, you have Modern Warfare 2019, and Modern Warfare 2019 is pretty boring. Uh, it's very bland, you know, it's so, so gray, you know, it's very grayish. Uh, even Cold War, I think Cold War is kind of grayish, but not that much as Modern Warfare 2019. And I think a futuristic Call of Duty game will be great, in my opinion, because I think, you know, even though futuristic Call you know, games have jetpacks, and like, like, here's the thing, man. I'm not talking about bringing jetpacks back, I, I'm talking about bringing Call of Duty kind of like Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 was futuristic. And Black Ops 2 didn't have any jetpacks. It was boots on the ground. And I really want to call it that as futuristic. 
and his boots on the ground. Unless he has minor, you know, advanced movements, like maybe like a little dash or like a super slide or something. I think that would be kind of cool. But, uh, you know, you, you, they don't have to bring back jetpacks. I think jetpack, even though jetpacks were actually pretty funny, in my opinion, I actually did like Advanced Warfare. I think Black Ops 3 was pretty good, too. And then Infinite Warfare was, man, you know, it, it was pretty much Black Ops 3, but, you know, better but worse, I guess, at the same time. But, uh, you know, I want futuristic Call of Duty games to come back. Because, like, right now, all they're doing right now is just they, they're bringing a modern game, you know. They have Modern Warfare. And they brought a Cold War game, right? Which is pretty much like Black Ops 1, but like a low-budget Black Ops 1. And then this year, we might be getting Call of Duty World War 2, which is going to be another World War 2 game that we already played four years prior. You know, like, we played that four years prior, you know, prior. We played it back in 2017, you know. I don't want another Call of Duty, you know, another World War 2 shooter, you know. Uh, maybe that's just me, you know. I'd rather have a futuristic game than a World War 2 game, uh, this year, in my opinion. And then next year, we obviously going to be getting another modern game by Infinity War, you know. It's going to be Modern Warfare 2, rebooted, Modern Warfare 2 2019. Uh, it's pretty, it's going to be pretty boring, you know. Uh, it's going to be, like, let's be honest, man, Modern Warfare 2, 2 Modern Warfare 2 2019 or whatever, Modern Warfare 2 rebooted. It's going to be very similar to Modern Warfare 2019, you know, Modern Warfare 2019, you know, reboot it. Uh, and they're going to be so similar that you're not even going to see the differences. Other than the graphics and the animations, and that's pretty much it. It's going to have the same guns, probably the same maps. Maybe the maps are going to be different, but they're going to feel the same. And it's going to have the same fucking uh, movement and some other shit, you know. Maybe that's just me, man. I, like, I'd rather have a futuristic Call of Duty game, honestly. Give me a futuristic Call of Duty game. Give, make it like Black Ops 2. Make it boot to the ground. You can add like a little bit of slide or maybe like a little bit of a band swooping in it. Maybe, you know, to make it more funner because right now Call of Duty is super boring. So boring, man. So boring. It's like so samey. Like, look, look at Modern Warfare. You compare Modern Warfare to, to Cold War. They're so same. Like, they look like very similar games. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I want a futuristic Call of Duty game. But it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to have jetpacks. They can make it boots on the ground futuristic. And I'll be fine with that. But, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. And, yeah, man. Whew! See ya, guys.